So I'm just looking at the uh, wok selection here at Ming Wong's on Henry Street here in Chinatown. So they've got a good uh, selection of woks here, but the one I'm looking for is carbon steel. It's got a flat bottom. So this is a real nice one. It's uh, made of carbon steel. So I can uh, use it for uh, stir fry and uh, deep fry. It's a uh, machine spun, so it's a uh, pretty high quality wok. I'm really happy with it. So this is a very nice looking wok. I've, I've owned some woks before, but this is the nicest one I've come across. So as you can see, this wok uh, is evenly uh, centered. It's got a nice uh, flat bottom so you can cook on an electric stove. It's uh, sturdy, it's got a nice handle, and the, actually it has two handles, one for carrying and one for flipping things. You can deep fry in it as well. So this wok has a coat of uh, oil around it, so you need to uh, scrub that off. So I put a little bit of uh, dishwashing liquid in there. I take a steel wool, wool here. Steel wool will clean off the uh, coating. This is a carbon steel wok, so it's uh, excellent for uh, uh, gas stoves. It can also be used on induction stoves and also electric stoves. So let's just rinse that off. So make sure you dry off the wok thoroughly. I use a cloth here. Then you proceed to the next step to season the wok. So I'm just uh, conditioning the wok right now. I uh, put it on high heat. There's actually only one heat. So when it uh, changes to a sort of a bluish type color, I can uh, move the walk around. So I'll get another part of the surface going. Hello. Hi. Uh, seasoning the walk. Uh, I can't do it inside, so I have to do it outside. You make video shows. Oh yeah, yeah, on the internet, yeah. Yeah. Chinese Canadian Roots TV. So I use this uh, portable. Uh, I use this portable stove to uh, condition my wok. The next step, I've got some uh, coconut oil. You can use any kind of vegetable oil that you like. So what you're going to do is coat the wok with the oil and you keep the heat going. So i got the wok going now, so just giving it a good uh, uh, coating of uh, grease here, of uh, coconut oil. Okay, so we're going to go one last time for the oil, so... Okay, this is the last one for the oil. So we get this uh, brown coating that comes off. Brown or black. So you're supposed to do it three times according to the instructions. There it is. This is good. So now, okay. How? I put some vegetables in though. See? Now? Yeah, because you want to just lock in some. Uh, Are you cooking the? Eat, I'm not going to eat it. I'm not going to eat it. I'm just going to cook it to get some, just to oh, lock in the flavor and okay, lock it in. Okay. So I bought this. Um, they told me to use this. So the next step, after you've done it three times to uh, get all the black out of the wok. So I've uh, put the coconut oil three times with a paper napkin. So the next step, I'm going to put some uh, green onions to cook in there just to uh, help season the wok as well. Also got some uh, onions. So then I'm going to put uh, in two batches again. So I put some uh, old vegetables in there just to uh, help season the wok. Mm -hmm. 
So it just goes like that. It's going to go on the side. I've got some, uh, I got some bones here. I've got some bones in there. Two dolphins. So I cooked the pork neck bones in the wok, so that helps to season the wok. This coconut oil works really well because it has a high heat uh, capacity, so it doesn't burn. So this is what the beach looks like after I finish seasoning my wok. All right now, not too many people on the beach, but uh, some still walking around. See the ship in the distance. And then you see the city in the background there.